My Elvis look. I guess you could say Scumbag Steve is my drunk ego. Like, my drunk personality, you know, I pocket lighters, steal girlfriends. Sometimes I'll punch people in the face for no reason, depending on if I have, like, hot liquor or not. The original photo was taken in 2006. Um, just like a candid photo, I was walking through a doorway, and I liked the way it looked, so I put it on my MySpace. It was taken by my mother. My mom was taking photography classes, so she was, like, all about pictures. Like, it actually got annoying to the point where I literally told her, hey, stop. You know what I mean? Like... Let's say I'd bring my girlfriend home and, you know, we'd be holding hands, make it out in the hallway, and she'd just, like, pop around the corner, snap! <laughs> I'd be like, Mom, are you serious? Well, you know, I gotta practice, you know? And it's like, dude, you know, I'm trying to get laid here, not get pictures candidly taken of me. And I got wicked pissed, and I'm like, Mom, stop! You know, I'm like, this picture was actually the final straw. You know, because I'm walking through a door, and then all of a sudden, snap, 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 and I'm like, Mom, are you serious? A lot of profanities came out of my mouth. You know, I'm 16. I think I'm the best, best in the world, you know, and nobody can touch me. So I'm like freaking out at my mother. And she's like, don't you talk to me like that. And I'm like, no, seriously, like, come on. You know, like, all I'm doing is walking through a I think I was even doing my laundry. I forget exactly what I was doing, but I was doing something completely pointless to where it does not need a picture. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, I was just like, oh, that looks good. And she's like, I told you so. You know, and then I was like, all right, can I have that? And she's like, yeah. So she gave it to me. I put it on my MySpace. And I found out about the meme in 2011. I was really upset, you know, wanted to fight everybody, like really pissed off. And then, you know, after talking with a couple people, I decided to embrace it. And it's been really good to me since. This is the original hat. Yep. Boston Red Sox. <laughs> it took me a long time to um, find it after I found out about it and wanted to embrace it and stuff because um, I, I moved since that picture was taken and it was kind of like buried in boxes. So I went into my basement and just tore my basement apart like, where's this hat? Where's this hat? You know what I mean? I looked on the internet to even try to find one and it was get discontinued. What drew me to the print was um, I was wearing a tan shirt, the same shirt that was in the picture. Um, and I had Tim boots on. They were old school Jabot pants, so like I had like, it was like Jabot pants black with uh, tan stripes. You know, I'm like white boy ghetto fabulous walking through the mall and you know, I walk into Lids and there's this hat that's perfect for my outfit. So I'm like, you know what, let's buy it. So I bought it, you know, put it on and I was just instantaneous. I thought I was the man. You know, I'm walking around like, yeah, yeah, that's right. I bought this hat. Like, you know, look at my Tims, look at my Tims. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I would have never thought that this would, this whole thing, Scumbag Steve, would happen because I guess I was acting like a scumbag at the time, you know, like thinking I'm better than you because of this hat, these pants, this shirt, fur jacket. It was like old school, like reversible G-unit jacket, all fur inside, very comfortable. What brought me to Illinois is um, I you know, search Twitter for like hashtag scumbag Steve, hashtag Blake Boston, whatever. I saw this guy, he's like, oh, if anyone can get scumbag Steve to Chicago, you know, I'll get him a bottle of Boom's Farm. And I'm like, I'm in Boston, how are you gonna get me here? How are you gonna get me here? And like, he private messaged me, he's like, hey, you know, I'm gonna get you to Chicago one way or another. So, you know, if I flew in this morning, meet up with him, his friend got me way too drunk this morning, so I passed out in his kitchen. I didn't even expect to pass out, but I guess I did. Leap the Blackhawks!